uh, hi everyone, welcome to our stakeholder presentation. We are from Group Baymax. And before we start our presentation, we would like to introduce ourselves first, starting from me. My name is Kenanga Pramita. I am the team leader of this group and I am the part of data visualization team. Next, I will pass it to Akmal. Hi everyone, I'm Mohamed Akmal and I'm part of the project management team. Now I'll pass it on to Enzo. Hello everyone, my name is Enzo. I'm part of the data visualization team. I'm Richard. Yes, uh, hi guys, I'm Richard. Uh, I'm part of the project management team. Okay, next I will pass it to Akmal to discuss about the background of our client, which is ETW Corporation. So I'll be starting off this presentation by exploring the background. So the first uh, area will be the problems that is being faced by the client. So the first problem that would be that they require a centralized information distribution system. And then secondly, they have they lack knowledge to solve the problem and they also have a low work efficiency. And finally, they want to modernize their financial management practices. Next. Now we will look at uh, look at the parts of the business that was affected. So the main part, uh, part of the business that was affected was financial management practice due to the lack of uh, due to the lack of their centralized information distribution system and their financial management practices are not modernized. And their IT department was also affected due to the problems. And our four proposed solutions for those problems were firstly, our Microsoft project plan, which will be uh, done to make sure that the project is being completed efficiently and on time. Secondly, a do uh, dockerized serverless Python. Thirdly, a dashboard prototype. And finally, a dashboard walkthrough that will be conducted by Enzo. I will uh, pass it on to uh, Richard right now. Yep, so I'm Richard, I will talk about the project plan. So first, our estimated time frame and budget. Our estimated time frame is 31.5 days, and our estimated budget is 23,050 ringgit. Next. Uh, so for our final time frame and budget. So first our final time frame, we finished our we managed to finish our project uh by 32.5 days and our final budget is 20,600 ringgit. Next. Okay, so first, uh, for the discrepancies, our first discrepancies would be first is the longer durations. So why it is actually a longer duration? Because we finished our project on 15 October 2021, but our baseline durations is 14 October 2021, which means we have a one day delay in between of the completed date and the baseline durations. However, we actually managed to finish our project on time and within the deadline, which is 22nd October 2021. So the reasons why there's a one day delay, it was actually because uh, initially, there, there, are, there are some over allocations, but we managed to solve and we also update the task from the clients, uh, which is the invoices list. So the second discrepancies would be lower cost. So our baseline cost, it was, uh, it is 23,050 ringgit and our actual cost is actually 20,600. It means that we are actually under budget and we could save approximately 2,450 uh, ringgit. And our reason is because we assign the resources and we manage to work efficiently within the team. Next. So for the issues caused by the additional work asked by the client, first, it is definitely out of scope because most of the tasks given by the client cannot be done due to the lack of information or the tasks. For example, the balance sheet, the work with uh, other uh, department or post uh, into the server online platform. So it couldn't be done because it's out of the scope. Second is the increased task because our team have to rearrange and add the invoices list as requested by the clients. Uh, rearrange the dashboarding. Uh, yeah, so it will increase our task. And automatically we also increase our durations. However, it just slightly increased in the durations and the date and date changed by a little. Yeah, so next I will pass it on Amma. Yeah, uh, now I'll be uh, looking into the closing remarks of the plan. The conclusion and learning from the plan was that our proposed solutions that we that I explored before was able to in was 
indeed able to solve the client's problem. And our team managed to complete the project before the deadline, which was given by the client, uh, which is on 22nd October. And we finished it seven days earlier on 15th October. We were also able to go under budget and save costs up to uh, 2,450 ringgit in Malaysia. And then we were also given, uh, we were also faced with some struggles in terms of fulfilling the additional requests given to us in the status update from the client uh, in, term, in the dashboard. And finally, since some of our additional tasks given to our client was out of scope, we were only able to create an additional invoice tab to fulfill the client's request. Next. And now the recommendations would be that if the client wants us to do additional tasks, they should provide uh, they should provide us with the access to the files and the necessary resources. And to achieve the project ob objectives, we would uh, we would recommend adding new resources, maximizing the resource allocations, and then finally maximizing the budget that can be done to achieve the project objectives. Um, that is it. I'll be passing it on to Enzo now. Yeah, so I'll be guiding through the dashboarding that we have made. So, okay, uh, as you can see, we have three tabs that is requested by the stakeholders. It's just the first one is financial performance. Second one is the cash movements. And the third one is the invoices tab, which is the additional data requirements that has been given. So uh, the ETW Corporation have given us uh, several data sets that we need to import. And we have managed to create a relationship within all the data set, which is the calendar, zero profit loss, uh, zero invoice payable and bank summary and invoices with uh, the relationship. And we have managed to create the first one is the financial performance tab. This includes from the fun, uh, zero profit loss statement. So we have given the total income to a cost, gross profit and net profit as an overview. Uh, you could also control click this uh, right slicer to show the date and now you could basically drag it into whatever uh, duration or time period that you want. You could also make it into a drop down list if you want to have a more specific date or specific month that you want, for example, March, then it will accustom to your preference. So uh, in this time, we, in this table, we could also see the net profit over time. So it shows that it, it's quite fluctuating and also the revenue cost over time. It, we then also requested the September values. We provide two year value, 2020 and 2021, with also the revenue versus cost. So you can see the classification of which one's increasing, which one is decreasing. And it, it could be seen that the net profit margin is very much decreasing at uh, 2021. And so moving on to the cash movement tab, it's also the same. It, it gives us an overview of the opening balance, closing balance, cash receipt, and cash spend. The day slicer is also the same. You can just adjust it to whichever month you want, for example, June. Uh, you can see the, uh, this is basically two graphs over here is basically the, the movement over time. So you can see that it's quite fluctuating. It's increasing and decreasing also the same here. And this is the composition of the bank accounts, which is the uh, how, which accounts are account for the largest amount. And you can see that ESPAC special account is dominating uh, over uh, the years, while ESPAC current is just like one third and business card and business card and petty cash is also little. We have also created the accounts receivable and accounts payable tab. This has been uh, given by the data by the corporation and the slicers are also working. So for example, you want to filter the company, you can also do that or filter their date as, as you can do it. So it's accustomed to your preference, which ones you want to see. So the additional data requirements that we have able to complete is the invoices tab, which is just basically the same as the invoices data set given. So we could uh, also do the same here. So there's the receivable and the date slicer, which you could select. And there's also the payable part, which is the, uh, date, uh, the company name and also the due date. You could also scroll it sideways to see more information regarding what. And that's, yeah, that's basically all that we have presented from the data visualization team. I will pass now on to Angie. Okay, thank you, Enzo. Next, I will continue our presentation. So as a group, in terms of future opportunities, the things that we have done is firstly, we created a project strategy and allocate the resources given to us. 
Next, we did a great distribution of knowledge and resources of all of the tasks, and we also resolved the project issues that we found during the project execution. And some of one of the major issues that we found is over allocation task. And next, we also connected the relationship between the spreadsheets given by our client, and we constructed the charts to visualize the data better. And also, lastly, we also fulfilled the client's request by adding a new invoices tab. Next, we also faced some issues during the project because not all clients' requests were able to be executed. For example, the, their, their request, which is to create additional type of balance sheet, was not uh, feasible to do because we do not have the data. And of course, it will postpone our project end date if we do it. Secondly, we were also not able to work with their BI team as another department. It is not feasible and hard work hard to work with other team, which is the their BI team, because we already have too much task. And of course, the deadline does not allow us to complete this request. And lastly, we were also not able to publish the prototype to their online report server, because we don't have the access to online report server or other platform. So lastly, for the future plans, our team can create a similar dashboard to meet the needs of our clients in the future if needed. And if it's necessary and practicable, our staff is willing to collaborate with any department. And we will also fulfill all of the client's requests if the access such as the online report server is provided to us. So lastly, we are looking forward to continue surfing with your firm in the future. And that's all for our stakeholder presentation. Thank you very much for listening to our presentation.